Here we have our first syllabus navigation idea. It's a simple list of content stacked one on top of the other. As you can see, all of the content is front facing and very easy to find. However, using this approach, we see that the content list could be quite long. In this second approach, you can see the syllabus has been arranged into tabbed sections. Each section would have a series of tabs. Clicking on a tab would reveal that tab's associated content. Like the previous example, the content is stacked and the list is somewhat long. However, because we're dividing the content into various tab sections, we can combine content and make the list shorter. That's an advantage. The disadvantage of this system is that, of course, until you've clicked on a particular tab, you will not be able to see that tab's content. And the final example we wanted to show you is a syllabus navigation that's organized into accordions and tabs. Here you can see that the content is structured with accordions. Clicking on an accordion will expand that accordion's content, revealing a set of tabs similar to the previous example. Clicking on a tab would then reveal that tab's content. As you click on another accordion, the previous accordion closes, the new accordion opens to reveal another set of tabs. The advantage here is that we've taken a very long list of content, as you've seen in the other examples, and shrunk it to almost one page. Of course, the disadvantage is, again, until you've actually interacted with a tab or an accordion, that content will be hidden to you.